Greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your leaders are lying to you. They are of their father, the devil. It is the work of the devil that they shall do. They wouldn't know righteousness if it slapped them in their face. They have no intentions on helping you in any way, shape, or form. They have every intention on causing more chaos than you can imagine. Their sole purpose in life is to exalt themselves. That means they have to kill, steal, or destroy. They will do it. If they have to lie, if they have to manipulate whoever they have to sleep with, they will do it. Whatever rituals have to take place, whatever gods they have to call on, whatever sacrifices have to be made, they will do it. They have no problem doing it. Their heart is evil. They are all in cahoots. All of them. They're working together for a common goal. And that common goal is to become richer. You're talking about some of the richest people on planet Earth. But they want more money. I saw a Ferrari or a Lamborghini the other day that's being auctioned starting at two million. Well, I'm sure they'll pay more than that because the whole freaking car is like made of gold or something. Where are you driving that to? I've seen four thousand dollar loafers for men in, in little I think two and a half, three inch little heels. The the real simple like the pumps you would see like in the eighties that they were to prom where you could like they would be white and you could have to store store like colored them to match whatever like the dress or whatever was they had that like satiny feel like a um ballet a point she would have and they had that inch heel covered in gold where are you wearing that to usually the powerball comes out what i thought it was once a year once it didn't seem to be that often now it's like every time i turn around the powerball is back up to 50 million 100 million That money is going to be literally worth zero dollars. Zero. Really soon. They rule at their own discretion, and the people love to have it so. Let a man meet a she-bear robbed of her cubs rather than a fool in his folly. If anyone returns evil for good, evil will not depart from his house. The beginning of strife is like letting out water. So quiet before the quarrel breaks out. He who justifies the wicked and who, he who condemns the righteous are both alike an abomination to the Lord. Why should a fool have money in his hand to buy wisdom when he has no sense? That's the book of Proverbs, English Standard Version. Money, 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 money. Money. Every time I turn on Christian television, they're asking for money yet again. Everyone's talking about their destiny and their purpose and oh what God has for me it is for me. Okay, really. Well, some things he had for you, you're not gonna get them. Because you disobeyed. And you don't get a do over. Pisses me off. It's one thing you can say other people ruined your life, but when you honestly that's if you're honest. Honestly, though, that you mess up your own life, or that you at least played a part in one way or another, nothing feels worse than that. And the only thing that feels or makes you feel better is knowing that you have learned so much and now you can apply it to the rest of your life so that you can move forward. But that's not going to happen for me or anyone else because this world is coming to an end. Yes, the thousand year reign and all of that, but 
this life served no other purpose other than to get there. And knowing that is enough to make me wish that I just had not, you know, the babies that are aborted go straight to heaven. <laughs> and they don't got to suffer through nothing. 